Hello. Now that I started talking, I don't want to stop. This is a really bad habit of mine. Um, especially because I have things to do and I need to sleep. I have class tomorrow. Um, and I'm already like on half a leg. You couldn't tell I'm sick. I don't even have the, I'm telling everybody I have the flu because it's like the most simplest way to describe the epidemic that is going around. But the thing is, it's not, it's not the flu. My brother had it first. He went to the doctor, he got tested for the flu, he got tested for COVID, it's none of that. It's just like a bug, it's like a virus. But it's not, it's not one of them big names, you know what I mean? So, I, <laughs> I've, guys, I've had everything, like, the effing, I, a fever, I, God, I took a nap, I woke up, like, a couple hours ago. It's, um, oh, I forget to, it's 11.31, December 6th, Tuesday. Anyway. I can woke up in the meantime, I went to my mom. I was like, mommy, turn my attention because I knew I knew my fever went up and she was like, yeah, it takes on. I was like, okay. It's down now, I feel better. I'm just like sweaty. Um, but yeah, I had fever, really bad cough. Like my, oh God, and sore throat too, so bad. And then it got to the point where my throat wouldn't hurt unless I coughed. Then I start coughing and I'm, I'm just like, Lord, is it my time? Because you can, t- I, I give it all to you. Anyways, and then I also had the thing where it's like, you know when you're you're sick and your body feels like mad heavy? Oh, I hate that. I'm dizzy, very disoriented just in general. Um, I haven't been driving recently because of this. Um, my friend has been giving me a ride because I just do not have the capacity to drive. I will crash my car, um, <laughs> just saying. Um, what else? Naja, of course. Uh, I think I've been shivering like crazy, but then I'm like sweating so bad. Like this stuff is just bogus, bro. Anyways, um, I started recording. I'm not gonna lie, there's, there wasn't really. I was thinking, I was like, hmm, what should I talk about? But I don't know. But um, actually, I kind of do know. But it's like kind of, it's kind of deep, guys. You want to get like kind of deep with me? Um, wait, no, actually, let's not get deep. Let's get funny. This one here about my love life, it's, like, really unfortunate. Okay, so let's, let's go all the way back. <laughs> um, this is gonna be a long video. So, uh, let me, wait, okay. I'm, I'm a name drop because I don't care. I don't care. What are they gonna do? I mean, most of them know anyways, because I'm just like that. Per. Okay, so, um, the first crush I had, his name was Nicholas. And we were in, okay, fun fact about me, I did kindergarten twice at three different elementary schools. Now, you're probably thinking, you're probably thinking, Joyce, how old are you? Before y'all start that I'm a freaking super senior, I'm actually not, I started school early, okay? When I was four, I started kindergarten, and then halfway through the year, I switched schools because of, like, some, like, it literally doesn't matter. But I switched schools, and then the next year, instead of, I switched schools again, and instead of me going on to the first grade, they were like, oh, we're going to hold you back because my birthday was past the date line, or whatever. So, yeah, okay. So I'm not dumb. They just dumb. I mean, it's, it, like, it makes sense. There's plenty of people whose birthdays are around mine that are also in my grade. So, anyways, so this was third school, <laughs> second time around. <laughs> this school I went to from kindergarten to fifth grade until we moved. Um, and so my first guest was there. His name was Nicholas. He was, he was cute. Back then, we were friends though. Um, we were friends until like the second grade, I think. Anyways, he grew up mad fine. It, guys, ah, oh, it's sick. Like, I found him on Instagram like a couple years ago, and I was like, no, effing way. But guys, you can follow me. And I have this thing where you know it's like you don't follow me, I'm not gonna follow you. Like you're not famous or nothing. But like sometimes I'm just like, oh, because he's so fun. I think he's a girlfriend. I think I saw her though. She's pretty. Well, I don't think I know her, but like I think like he posted her somewhere or something. She's pretty. I don't know if they're still that feeling good. They're still living in the Anyways, yeah. Fun facts <laughs> about me and Nicholas. Wait, actually, no. Some of this stuff is, like, kind of disturbing. And, like, I'm, like, a baddie. So, it's, like, some things you just can't, like, talk about. But fun fact, I, 
I punched him in the stomach in the first grade. Now, I can't really remember why. I was a violent child, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> anyways, I was the youngest until like kindergarten. So I feel like that. this is a lot about me. God, guys, wait. Anyways, the next wish I had was from third to fifth grade and his name was Evan. And he was a little white boy. And Oh, Nick was his man. He was a little spin boy. He was the average little spin boy. <laughs> um, I don't, I swear Evan was a redhead, but Loki is a brunette. I don't, I think something's wrong with my eyes. I don't know if I know. Anyways, I remember seeing him on the playground. I was like, mm. <laughs> no, I'm so serious. Like, that's how I went. And in second grade, because he, he, he came to my school in second grade, we, did, we were in the same class though. Third grade, we were in the same class. We said nice to each other. We became besties. But then, okay, because I was like popular because my older sister went there. Duh, y'all you, you, know how the hierarchy works on elementary school. Like, you got an older sibling, you're really up there, bro. Especially when your older sibling is loved, bro. Like my sister. But also, my sister was known because, okay, you know, like sixth grade, there's the, like OSS, which is like outdoor science something. I don't know if you know what the other S stands for. And then, it was like an outdoor science camp. And um, my sister couldn't go because she broke her ankle. That my sister was separate. Oh, that one's crazy. This is this is another story from my town though. But um, yeah. So she was known as the girl who broke her ankle and couldn't go to OSS. Literally, I, I people come up to me in the playground and be like, "Is this just the girl that broke her ankle and couldn't go to OSS?" <laughs> that is so sad though. It's like a couple of kids. No, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Anyway, and then he had an older brother that was like a couple years younger. Then my sister, they were spitting images of each other. Funny story. I'm on TikTok and I'm, is that having glitter? <laughs> Anyways, I'm on TikTok and I'm like, I see this grown man and I'm like, I know you. Cause why was it his older brother on my free page? And he, he had likes, he had likes. I was like, oh my God, but they're like spitting images of each other. It's it's actually kind of scary. Anyways, so yeah, we were both popular. So then came rivals, cause you know, he was a boy, I was a girl, and it was like third, fourth grade. Um, also, you call me fat, <laughs> which if somebody were to do that now, I'd be like, yeah, that was an astute observation. But at the time I actually just, it's not funny, it's not funny. <laughs> I can laugh at it now because I was like, I think eight. But at the time when he did that, I was just told by my... <laughs> it's not funny. I was just told by my doctor that I was actually obese. So that was a very touchy subject for me. <laughs> so he made me cry. And and, uh, and and that day, bro, we had an effing substitute. And um, that substitute, I hate that. That woman can't do jack. Anyways, so we, you know how you have like lunch monitors, you know? So my friends, I feel like somebody's about to come out because my family's, just, anyways, my, one of my friends goes up to the meanest lunch monitor. There was Miss O and there was the other one. I can't remember what the other one's name was, but this woman was, I mean, she loved me, so I'm, I'm good. But when she was mad, oh, well, she was mad. Miss O used to get candy though. I don't know how she's doing. She's a huge, Miami Dolphins fan. That I, anyways, <laughs> went to the meanest lunch monitor. And that lunch monitor made him sit out during lunch and write me a sorry letter. God, I lost that. I'm so mad I don't know where that joint is. It was very sweet, very hard for him. Anyways, I had a huge crush on him. And I told him while I was literally on the plane to Australia. I was such a funny child. I mean, I would still do something like that because it's just like, I have a tendency actually to um, say I like something when I'm either leaving the country or the state or the school. Um, yeah, as, and as I keep going, you're gonna see this common theme. Anyways, yeah. Um, also, I made him a Valentine's Day card and I'm like, was it third grade too? Was that fourth? I think it was fourth. And then my friends were making a plan to fish out his bathroom, backpack, bathroom, his backpack. But I was like, no, guys. 
just let it happen. First time I started taking my L's. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Now, fast forward. So now I'm in sixth grade. First guy I had a crush on. His name was Josh. I'm not saying his last name. There's too much information. And he... Okay, he was like, he's, he wasn't ugly. I'm not saying he was ugly, but he just had a very attractive energy. But he was also like a numb skull. So it's like, how attractive was his energy? You know what I mean? Anyways, that crush lasted about two weeks. Because I learned very quickly who he was. But guys, he had the most like, I don't know if he was actually flirting with me. That's really none of my business. I'm not going to lie. Because there was no shot with me. But in... He had the most like middle school way of flirting. He even took my scissors. I'm like, bro, give me my scissors back. Mm. Bro, like, oh, this stuff is disgusting. Also, this man was born in Canada, lived there for about two years, spent the rest of his life in Australia, and he's talking about I'm Canadian. I'm Canadian. Mm-hmm. 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 That's like my sister saying she was born in Arizona. No, what? My sister was born in Arizona. That's like her saying she's from Arizona, but she spent like, I think less than two years there. Let's be so serious. She didn't even tell me she was born there. I think she forgets that. Anyways, these antics. But yeah, I stopped liking him because like, he was just mean to my friends. This is really it. I was like, just unnecessarily rude. Next guy on a crush on. Why don't I remember? Oh, I didn't crush on anybody until seventh grade. <laughs> After that, <laughs> so seventh grade, his name was his name was Jack. Wait, his name is kind of perfect. Right? I had to say his name is Jack James. That's like such a white name, isn't it? But it's kind of perfect. I don't know. Anyways, let me tell y'all. He was tall. He was pale with freckles, and he was redhead, and he's athletic. Like God, everything a black woman could do. <laughs> <laughs> but he had really pretty blue eyes though anyways he was annoying he was so annoying we had french class together and we had pe together so yeah um we didn't really talk much because some grade and he was terrified that's when <laughs> some grade is when i started getting terrified of people that's when the anxiety started <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh my god. I was so scared of everybody. Um <laughs> and um yeah, so I <laughs> see I said I liked him a lot longer than I actually did. I don't even remember how long I liked him, but it wasn't that long. Anyways, I stopped liking him because you know he was definitely annoying. And I, I I didn't feel like lying to myself anymore. But you know what's funny? I blocked him on Snapchat. You know what? <laughs> Funny. It's, no, it's actually hilarious. It's actually hilarious. Sorry. <laughs> so, I um, I I watched it, the like the movie with like um, like Finn Wolfhard and Sophia Lewis and all of them. Yeah, I only mean, watched it for Finn Wolfhard, but it's a good movie. I don't even like her movie. I'm tired of movies. Um, anyways, I had like paused the screen and I thought it was funny, so I took a picture and posted it on my stuff. Just, mind you, this is not great, but of course, it was something I think stupid. I remember, he slid up and he was like, Don't post stuff like that ever again. I was like, This is my story. <laughs> You're mad. And I blocked him. Well, that's not exactly what I said. It was definitely more corny than that, but yeah, that's why he's blocked. I think I unblocked. I don't, cause who uses Snapchat? Like, I, I don't use it seriously, so I don't even check who's on my block list. You can block your block. You have to, you're gone. Um. Anyways, <laughs> fast forward. I had a Christian this guy named Jace, and he, we were friends. Um. We had like an interesting bond. I lo- I loved him though. He, he was super sweet. He was super cool. Um. Very helpful to me when I really needed some support. Um, especially because I've been a huge crybaby. I I don't say crybaby as like a bad thing. I just cry a lot. Like it's true. I do. I do. Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm thankful for the time that I had with him, which is like a very, God, that sounds like so like sentimental, but I mean, it's like we were friends when we had classes together. And then as we saw each other less, we went, we didn't, you know, we didn't talk as much, and then, you know, I haven't moved, so now there's, like, no contact. Um, 
Yeah. I had a crush on him for a long time. I don't even remember how long either. But it, it, it was months. It was after months. Um, why did I stop having a crush on him? Guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, seventh grade is so dramatic. It's so dramatic. But I love it. You know what I mean? Like, I think back on it, I was like, wait, guys, it's kind of funny. But this, let me tell you all, one day, all my friends, okay, because I had, like, I had, like, my group of friends, and then I had, like, a lot of other friends, you know what I mean? So, one day, they're all coming up to me, on my, like, on my outside friends, they're like, he has a crush on my other friend, mind you. See, this is when I started hating light skins. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But he had a crush on my friend. And um, I was like, okay. And I just stopped liking him. That was literally it. And it wasn't even like any hard feelings. And she was like, oh my God, you here? And I was like, yeah. And then she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, girl, you, like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care. It's fine. I am i can't control who he, like, like, they didn't even end up together or anything. I don't know. That would have been an interesting combination. I would honestly, I would live for that. I would love to see that. Because it would be so strange. Anyways. Yeah, next, I, nobody knows this. Actually, there's one person that knows this. Shout out Zeke. Cause I told him this on a whim, and this was so freaking funny seeing his reaction. I had a crush on my friend Tristan. Now, Tristan, if you're watching this, how the fuck did you freaking find my channel, you freak? No, I'm kidding. What's up, dog? Hope you didn't swell. Um, so Tristan was my fellow American in Australia. This man, like four and nine at the ripe age of 13. <laughs> Sorry, this is not, you know, guys, if you, see, if you saw his mom, it makes a lot of sense. But his dad's like, bro, his dad's like six, seven. And then his mom's like four or five. Long distance relationship. Anyways, Tristan, we were, like on the skate or something. Tristan and I were really good friends. So of course my dumbass started to like him, but I didn't do anything about it. I didn't say anything about it. I didn't really care about it. It just like happened, and I was like, okay. And then it just like stopped happening. Oh, I moved. <laughs> That's why that stopped happening. Also, I'm mad at him once with something probably dumb. But also, I was a strange child. I'm not gonna lie. So I got. It was very easy to piss me off. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, I, th I think that covers everybody um, in those eras. So now, Marilyn. <laughs> okay, guys, this is so embarrassing. If you watch this, you know who I'm talking about. Don't bring it up. I'm so serious. I don't want to hear it. I, I've, I've heard enough. I, I beat myself up, okay? I don't need other people beating me up. Um, so... <laughs> First crush I had here, his name is Jake. <laughs> so, <laughs> short little white boy. Um. Oh yeah, all the Aussie ones were white. Cause what else are you gonna find in Australia? <laughs> it's all white people. Um. Yeah, anyways, Jake showed a white boy. I mean, he was taller than me. And he was that bro had to be like five four. Mind you, I'm five one. It's not that hard to be taller than me. <laughs> but like, damn. <laughs> anyways, he was one of those white boys that were like, like, like freaking um, what's that white people store called? Uh, goddamn, the one with the whales. <laughs> Cause I don't know what it's called. It's like um, um, oh my god. Wait, wait, Wales shirt. It Vineyard Vines. <laughs> it, 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 it one of the marble because I just moved here. I, I didn't know anything, okay? But the Vineyard Vines and the basketball shorts and the white vans, you know, all the white boys at my middle school or in my high school are what inspired me to get white vans. And I see I love them, so I'm not mad. Man, maybe I should wear those tomorrow. <gasps> yes! Anyways. I've been thinking about my outfit, if you can tell. I wish I was going to wear slip on fans, but no more of those. Yay. Oh, then I have to wear white socks. So, 
anyways i told y'all the adhd brain is gonna be adhd um so that crush didn't last long either also <laughs> i didn't say a single word to <laughs> we shared no words none because <laughs> okay one day i went to a basketball game and he was on the basketball <laughs> i don't know why i can't take myself seriously <laughs> the basketball team at the time. Yo, he was one of the best players. <laughs> he was so awful. Bro, that whole game. Okay, guys, I used to play basketball, so I'm not, like, talking out of my booty. But that whole game, bro, I was rocking back and forth. Like, everyone on that team was garbage. Anyways. I was, I was, I was talking to my friends. I was like, guys, I'm going to talk to him. Like, so middle school. Money, this is eighth grade. I was like, oh, I'm going to be like, yo, nice game. Like, I didn't say a goddamn word. <laughs> <laughs> Not a goddamn word. <laughs> and I stopped liking him because I realized I didn't even like him. <laughs> this is so funny. This is so funny to me. <laughs> God. Anyways. Oh, God. This thing's really get ugly. <laughs> Wait, I don't know who came first. Okay. <laughs> we can't always make good decisions. I just need you guys to remember that as I talk about my past experiences. So, I had a crush on this guy named David. And he was... I, he... He's, um... He was, you know, pretty... Not pretty tall, like 5'9". He was, I think... He was half Mexican, half white, or from Mexican, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> can I tell you, let me tell you two things that really should have been warning signs. One, <laughs> he's a car guy. <laughs> and, and a Star Wars guy. Two, he's a Scorpio man. He's older than me too, December 13th. I don't know why I still remember his birthday. Let me please forget that. I've like forgotten everybody else's. But for some reason his, I still freaking remember. I think because I rocked my world so much that he was older than me and like 10 years dumber than me. Anyways, see, me great, I was a vulnerable little girl. And, oh, that sounds really bad. Guys, I promise I wasn't like, there's no, there's no like trigger warnings here. I, I, I was okay. Well, no, it was really bad for me, but like it wasn't anything that like you need to tell the police, you know. Anyways, <laughs> um, for CPS, it's okay. It's like suddenly really quiet, and that's just like kind of nerve wracking. Anyways, um, I've been for a long time, way too long. And yeah, I said I was I was very vulnerable at the time. You know, just moved here. So if you were nice to me, bro. And then, this man was not cute. But I was like, he's like ugly cute. No, babe, he's just ugly. <laughs> Looks like a rat. Literally, I'm not lying. Anyways, but we were good friends, so see you guys we have PE last period. If you know anything about PE last period, then you know you have to know. Yeah. That's that's the type of that's the type of this Oh my god, this is the type of tribe that you, you just uh, some peculiar in that bond, bro. Anyways, yeah, so I, um, my question is, and then it was put on pause <laughs> because I started, <laughs> god, put on pause because I started liking his best friend. So let's, let's go, let's move on to him. So his name was Lucas. He, that man is a giant. I don't know if he know what's in his bones. Don't know what freaking genes, chromosomes that man got, but that man's like 6'9". I'm, I'm exaggerating, but I got to be 6'9". I can, I can say that confidently. Anyways. Um, 
now it would be deep. Oh my god. The way that we became friends is quite. Hmm. Basically, my friends took my phone and told him that I liked him. I didn't even know this man's last name. So, of course, I had to break it to him and be like, my friends took my phone. I mean, I could have gotten my first boyfriend out of it, but it's just not the way I want You know, I have integrity. <laughs> I feel so bad for a while. I hate empathy. I hate it. Because what the heck? I was like, I it, uh, I'm the one crying, and I, I didn't even, uh, what? Anyways, yeah, and then we became friends. Um, we used to play a lot of iMessage games, and I'm not going to lie, I had like a, I don't know, I don't know actual complexes, but I have, I, I kind of, mm, this is like a hero complex. No, I don't, mm, I don't know. When I was really young, no, uh, really young, 8th grade was like 7 years ago, but like, wait, when we was 8th grade, that was like 4th grade, um, but when I was younger, I, I wanted to save everybody, because I couldn't save myself, you know what I mean, and so it's like you see people that are insecure, you want them to feel secure, because you don't want people to feel the way that you feel, but it, it just, it, it was like in a, I, I still feel the same way, but obviously there's boundaries to it, and there's like ways to go about things. And obviously you can't, you, you have to learn that you can only do so much. But I didn't know that, so I was an eighth grader, it's a measly little eighth grader with no therapist. And so let's just say I was an idiot. Anyways, then I don't really know. Things got weird, but I was like head over heels for this man it was interesting anyway my friend threw a party and no it wasn't a rager there was it was <sighs> anyways but we talked for like two three hours straight give me his phone i i he didn't have any social media so i made him a snapchat i made him an instagram and all of his pastors are like just my favorite person <laughs> just don't know i can made the accounts i remember specifically i made his bimoji and I was like, what color your eyes? And he was like, no, no. And I was like, I kept asking questions and he was being annoying. I was like, look at me. And I was just like, I got so nervous. Anyways. Oh, fuck. God, I felt like I was freaking Taylor Swift and I love song. But then the school year ended and I was like, you know, I noticed I've been texting him first a lot. I'm not waiting for him to text me. Then he goes to me. We made no classes together over again, and he never texted me back. And um, he changed all his passwords to all his social media accounts, and then he proceeded to unfollow me from said social media accounts that I made. I'm thinking about reporting them. I don't want to be sick and twisted, <laughs> but yeah. At some point, I was like, hmm, which one should I choose? They both turned out to be awful. But yeah, he's gonna stop liking dudes because he's just an awful person. He's, um, Mr. All Lives Matter. And he said the N word. And he's managed to offend like every single minority group. Every. Trust me, he, you, yeah, you were not unseen, untouched by this man. <laughs> he's sick. <laughs> yeah. Also, he said he was a, um, by man trapped in a Mexican boy's body. I laughed at the time because my job was an eighth grader. But now, if somebody said that to me, I would look at them like they're stupid because that's exactly what they are. Let's proceed. Um, ninth grade. Oh, God. Ninth grade was Kareem. <laughs> this one's funny. Okay. Cream is, um, we, we were mutuals <laughs> in real life, like friends of friends. Um, and we had all, literally, we had all the same friends, but we just like we never talked to each other. Um, anyways, we had French two together, and again, because we had all the same friends, we sat near each other, so we started talking. And then, um, each quarter, my friend teacher would like switch all the seats and stuff. So, second, is it second? 
It was second. Yeah, because the Bro, third quarter. This, I'm still mad about this, Mr. DeRosa, if you're watching this. This man effing put me in the back by myself. Oh my gosh, the bro. He's like, all my guy friends in like a little area. And then I had one of my female friends nearby. But I was so mad. Anyways, second quarter. <laughs> um... He, I, he de- I didn't know he was sick and tired of us. I felt so bad for him. But, um, <laughs> he, um, he beat me in our seat, and I sat near one of my guy friends, and then Kareem, one of my guy friends at the time, by the way, I hate this person now. Okay, hates a strong word, couldn't care less about old dude. But anyways, yeah, so we sat in our little area, and because, you know, he was there, there's the bridge, boom, my friends, and we would talk. And here's the thing. Very simple, man. <laughs> you show me that you want my attention, and I'll give you my attention. <laughs> and is there, you know that thing? I even hate when guys do this because now it's just like a, I feel like it's a manipulation tactic. You know the thing? You know when like somebody like makes a joke or something, and then they like turn to you to like see your reaction specifically. Yeah, there's a lot of that. And just like you know, boys like to make little comments during class. Yeah, when you started saying them to me. You know, like, you want a kiss? <laughs> um, also, okay, guys, first thing you guys look, you bring that. I'm not gonna lie, like, it was a there's so many, there's so much wrong going on. But freshman year, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> one time we were walking in the hallway because this man, this man is tall, he's like 5'10 or something. I don't know if you know, but he's he's, he's kind of tall. And so you know this <laughs> and <then laughs> he was like looking down <laughs> This is sick. He was looking down and was looking up and, I don't know. My mind is picture this walk frolicking through flowers like a freaking imbecile. Anyways, and then also one time he admitted I was right. I'm not used to men doing that. Don't bother end the conversation and admit I'm right, because ninety-nine percent of the time I'm correct. When am I ever okay? Let me not say when am I ever wrong, because then people are gonna start saying things, and I'm, I, I don't want to deal with y'all fake fans. I don't. But I sound Canadian, uh, guys. Canadian men—they talk so funny. Every time they come on my free page, I laugh. Also, Drake. I can't take Drake seriously, but I feel like that's like the best part of his marketing. Or like the lightning bolts. Anyways, um, yeah, I started having a crush on him. This COVID, COVID hit. My freshman year um so we didn't see each other we didn't talk i didn't have any of his socials I didn't have his number or anything <laughs> that's when i saw him it was a good time um but then we did talk during the pandemic and i think he was the reason i had my first panic attack so so slow <sighs> then i didn't have a question anybody because you know i school whatever whatever just fast forward Junior, okay. There's a lot of guys that I found cute, and I didn't have a crush on. A lot of people don't know the difference. Crush is like a, it's a nonsense. You know what I mean? Anyways, oh, actually, that's wrong. The reason why I stopped liking Kareem was because, literally, okay, I was like, I wouldn't admit it because every time I told my friends I had a crush on somebody, things never went well. So I was like, I'm not gonna admit anything. But like, everyone was low key like picking up on it. But I was like, no. And then, just thought of something. And then, um, I, um, what's it called? Anyways, when I told one of my, I admitted it to one of my friends, just one. And then my whole friend group fell apart. I was like, listen, my life is too much in shambles for me to have a crush right now. It's like a little like that. But then, yeah, COVID. Anyway, yeah, it's junior year. <sighs> God, it's disgusting. I had a crush on this. <sighs> I got. <sighs> this is really. I'm gonna barf. You know, it's funny because I'm talking as if I don't see this man still. So, like, if he sees this, I like, don't care. He knows I don't have anything like him. He knows that. And I made that clear. Anyway, that question is. Oh, God. 
Oh, cream. Cream was white. Cream was South African though. That was interesting. <laughs> Just, just now I mentioned that. So he had very like ethnic features, which I thought were really interesting. I sound like a white person. No, but like I, I like when people have like like he had like a <laughs> I'm just gonna say something. But I realize it's probably offensive. Oh my god. Yeah <laughs> He had like a I don't know how to describe his notes, but I thought it was really cool. It's like you have really cool notes. Yeah. Anyways. Oh! <laughs> I'm like remembering things that were said, but I can't remember the context. And then it like hits me. And I'm like, ooh. Anyway. And then I had a. Um. <laughs> I just remembered my therapist as my teacher. <laughs> this is the point. Christian, this guy named Dylan. That lasted way too long. I didn't even like him in the first place. But monkey see, monkey do. Let's just say the whole friend group had a crush on him. Well, everyone that liked men and the friend group had a crush on him. <laughs> um, and he played everybody. And he literally used manipulation tactics. And he used everyone for his grades. Then he ghosted everyone. But we got the whole... Can I say this again? I don't have to wait till I graduate. No, I'm just not going to say We got the whole cohort to, like, not like him. You then, my group don't play. My group don't play. The thing is, we got allies in every group, bro. It, we got allies. We got allies in every group. We're the A group of the cohort, bro. But we say goes, all right? So we don't like you. Go get everyone else to not like you. It's simple. Ugh, I love having this much power. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. I told him I liked him on April Fools. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes I, ugh, we'll circle back to that. Anyways, then, See, that lasted from like December 2021 to like March of this year. And then this was kind of embarrassing to admit, but like I'm an open book, guys. I'm an open book. And of course, one of my childhood friends, Andy. Hey, man. I haven't seen him since 2016. That man blew up. <laughs> that's, that's a spiffy young man. Anyways, yeah, it was like two in the morning. Sean was like, just do it. So I just did it and I told him. And I got rejected on the worst thing in my life, but that's okay. We're cool now. I said, we're gonna take it. All is well. I'm in his house. I'm living, Andy. That's game dope. Um, My lips are like super chapped. I don't think I put on chapstick before I fall asleep. Um, Anyways. Yeah, that, that was a very short lived. It was like, <laughs> like June to October. I mean, it's like four months. It was like serious. But here's the thing when all your friends are gassing your head, exactly. Exactly. Anyways, who else died? Hey, most recently. This one's kind of funny. Most recently, I had a crush on my guy friends. His name is Noah. You know if you're watching this. What, how'd you even get here? I didn't tell you about this. I'd have a lot of questions here if you, if you freaking saw this. Because right now I have about, what, five subscribers? I mean, if I have like 100k, then you know what I'm <laughs> But, anyways. Yeah. So, Noah joined our cohort from the other cohort I didn't know who he was it's like that's that's this biffy young man he's a really nice guy love him we're, we're great friends um now 
do I like him? No, I don't really have a question or anything. It's like not, it's not something I really do anymore. It's, you know, you have your run. <laughs> no, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Oh, let me stop playing. Um, I, 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 I'm actually not about to see him in like seven hours. Like, like we don't have classes together tomorrow. Like, I literally just pretend like these people don't do this. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, and it's so funny because like, and then also, <laughs> this is funny. You can laugh. So we're we're talking, right? It's me. It's 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 Noah, and it's Sean. Usually Sean and I have twin telepathy. You know he's talking. So we're having this conversation. And me and Sean are laughing about something on sneakily. And then he was like, I feel like I'm missing something. No, I was like, oh, I feel like I'm missing something. Like, what? I looked at Sean, I was like, you can say your name, you say it. And then he was like, ooh, can I say it? And I was like, yeah, because I, th- I thought we were on the same wavelength. Because you know what he said? Dwiz is in love with you. I turned to this man. <laughs> I said, that is not what I was about to say. Oh. No, bust out laughing. When I say bust out laughing, I mean face entirely right. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I just like, remember me. No, this, this cute little Asian boy. <laughs> he's, um, he's like five, seven ish. I don't know. He's younger than me, so it's disgusting. God. Anyways. <laughs> that was so funny. And we never spoke about it again. I didn't even I was like, you know what? I'll just accept the feet. And just never never said anything else about it. And now we're great friends. Well we were well we're still great friends. But yeah, okay. Let's circle back real quick and let me talk about every time I've like told my first like Okay, so my kindergarten fresh, I didn't tell him until like 2020 ish. Like, a huge question. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to search this chat. I hate it. And then, um, I already said, as then Josh, I never told. Jack, I never told. Jace, I told on a random day in 2018. No. In 2019, when I was long gone, because my friends were like, just do it. It's like, okay. And so I texted him on Snapchat, and I was like, you know, I have a question. He's like, why don't you tell me? And I was like, Fanny, like, it's like, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that was really like the conversation. I mean, no, he was nice about it, but yeah. And then, um, he's probably used to girl say that. That man is fine. He's still fine. I have him on be real. He pierces his nose. Guys, who told him to do that? Cause I, 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 you need your flowers. Unless you thought it, it, it. Oh my God. Speaking should not be this hard. Anyways, you think for someone that loves to speak so much, I would speak so eloquently and fluently. No, no. It's stuttering. It's losing my train of thought. It's not being able to speak the English language. God. Anyways. Or if he thought of getting those music himself. <laughs> well, I would say some things, but this video would be taken down. I am a minor. Uh-huh. He is not. Okay, we're like born in the same year. Do you have to just look at Labor Day? Remember, there's literally nine days before the freaking year ends. Nine days before the freaking year ends. There we go. Sigh. Um. Um. Yeah, and then Tristan, I never told. Jake, I never told. Um, David, I told on the last day of eighth grade because we were on FaceTime, and this is like when I was like in the limbo, like because mm, I have a pros and cons list. I love a good pros and cons list, but that was crazy. Pros and cons list on men. I think that's kind. Of, I'm kind of real weird. <laughs> I wish I still had it, but I deleted it. Um. Anyways, yeah, we were like on FaceTime because we didn't get to see him like before the end. 
I don't know if you know why we called him. I can't remember, but I mean, it was me and me. Guys, <laughs> you're gonna be so mad at me for saying this. Me and cried on the last day of eighth grade. It was so funny. <laughs> bro, bro, bro was crying like she was moving back to Scotland, bro. You're still here. We'll be. <laughs> still be together next year, bro. <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. I'm sorry. Um. Anyway, she was like, call David. And, yeah. And I was just like, oh, you know, like, dude. And then. He said something stupid, so. But he was like, what do I mean? What do I mean? Pick me up, boy. Pick me up, boy. Okay, anyway. Um, guys, I, I'm actually, like, skipping on a lot of details. So if you guys, are, if you guys want, like, full, full stories of things that happened in my crushes, because there's this actually a lot of bull crap that I have endured these past couple of years. Anyways, let's keep going. Lucas, I never told. Kareem, I never told. Uh, Dylan, I told. It's like, April Fool's Day, I just texted him. Yes, I did April Fool's Day on purpose. But he was nice about it, so I didn't back out on the AP word. Um, and then, well, no, I didn't tell, but somebody else did, so. Yeah. At some point, I had a roster. Thought I was in my whole era. In the blink of an eye. <laughs> Everyone's gone. Um, I mean, half of the roster rejected me. <laughs> Cause it's okay, it's okay. You know, what? it's actually really funny though. A lot of people expect that I get play, guys. I'm a black woman in suburbia. And I'm not skinny, and I dress like the nerdy teenage brother in a Disney XD show. Actually, that's what I aspire to just like. There's no way I get play. There's just no way. And also, I have a personality that's an acquired taste. Um, I'm not mad about it. Because, clearly, these boys couldn't handle me if they tried. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, when... <laughs> I was like, do you get no I was like, absolutely. <laughs> you know what's funny? Every time my sister and I are watching TV and somebody admits that they get no play, we're like, why would you admit that? Like, you know, millions of people are watching that. Here I am, sitting in front of my iPad, being like, guys, I get no play. Because it's funny. It's, I laugh about it. I laugh about it. It's okay. Anyways, yeah, that's my crush history. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's pretty bad. Honestly, most of them I just liked because they were nice to me and they were cute. Or I thought they were cute. But the thing is, did I actually want to date them? Probably not. There's only like a handful that I actually want to date. But most of them, just for funsies, you know? Um, yeah. I need better crush game, though. Just actually going to date them. I need some play, like. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Wait for more starts on something know. <laughs> I got a lot on my love, but my love life, it's funny. It's really funny. So yeah, bye. <laughs>